Hello out there, wherever you are. As for me, well, I'm at the Pittsburgh Mills Mall, Turin and PA, and we are here to check out the Scare House. Now, we did the Scare House. I did the Scare House for the first time ever last year. Really enjoyed it, um, but the only thing was it was the first week of November and not during the actual haunt season because the haunt season kind of ends at Halloween. Um, so I went to get here a little bit earlier and I got here exactly one week earlier. <laughs> Halloween weekend uh, is when I got here. I wanted to get here well earlier, but what are you going to do? Um, but yeah, the um, the Scare House, look, it has a reputation as being one of Pittsburgh's top haunts. I'm looking forward to the Scare House. Uh, we, uh, um, I got my friend Matt with me who couldn't go last time. I got my son who did not go last time. So it's a new crew uh, that we are taking into the scare house and I'm looking forward to some very good things. So let's go check out the sights and the sounds of the scare house for 2022. And Tom was here. Hey, how do you like this? I'm Daddy's Rail and you're watching Tom Was Here. Special clown game <laughs> called Do You Get the Treasure? Oh. Oh, oh, treasure. Oh, boy. 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 Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh I just hit the wall. <laughs> oh god, oh boy. Okay, I make it, I make it, oh, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Good 
Flashlights, you will take your rightful place up front. You are an extra, you are an extra jumpy this evening, and I gotta take advantage of that. Jumpiness. I can't have 
part of the fun. For me, especially. <laughs> Just around the corners or studies on sleep paralysis and deprivation. It's a short survey, it only takes a few moments to fill out. Just a very small coffin like way to work better in little recruits. When you're going through, remember to keep your hands to yourself, don't touch the gift or anything else. For the love of God, do not play hot hands with him. He does fight. He's a lot faster than he looks. Are you ready, Skip? This way, please. Mattress factory. Uh, yeah. The original. Yeah. This is where the. This is where all the mattresses. Are. Oh, go this way. Oh. Wake up! Oh. 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 Wake up! Oh. 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 Have you not? Wait, are we back at the beginning? Oh no, we're good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that, was, demand, that girl was just here. <laughs> I demand you be in front. How dare you not be in front of me?
You sure this is the right way? No. <laughs> uh oh. I think you're going back. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> it's fantastic. Why?
Yes, it is. So let's talk a little bit about the scare house. And, um, you know, I, this was only my second time ever visiting the scare house. And I've only known the scare house at Pittsburgh Mills. I don't know it in its previous locations. Um, so I can't speak for how it was previously. I know the big knock on the scare house was when they moved to Pittsburgh Mills that they lost some of the ambiance or whatever. And, and maybe that's true to an extent in terms of the walk up. Um, because in the walk up experience, when you're walking up to a haunted house, um, you know, there is a menacing tone. There's something to let you know that you're walking up to a haunted house, haunted attraction. And I can say the scare house, at least in the walk up, is probably the least threatening one um, that we visit. When you're in the Pittsburgh Mills Mall, you know, it's very brightly lit. Um, it's across from a Bath and Body Works. You know, you don't, you're trying to get in the mood of, of being scared. You have scare actors running around. And then you see lotion for, for $20. It, it's tough. It makes that difficult. They do their level best to have the scare actors around to try to get a rise out of people. But, you know, being inside, which is a benefit with Pittsburgh and its adverse weather conditions, um, but in a brightly lit place that was a former mall um it's tough to have the same level of ambiance as say like an outdoor dark location with a menacing front um so in that they're working at a disadvantage uh they do have some D, they have a they have a DJ playing music, which is really like a skeleton with the DJ thing. So they're trying to do different things out to the front of the scare house, um, but it's a lot tougher than other haunts that have it easier because they have that menacing location as a backdrop. Now, when you step inside the scare house, and and I will give them credit in this regard, the ambiance sets in, and you forget that you are in a mall because they have it very well themed. And especially when you step inside the scare house, you forget that you are in a mall because it's that well themed. Um, you know, theming and immersion factor are, for me, and I'm, <laughs> I mentioned this so many times and I'm sure everybody hears, everybody's tired of hearing it to me mention it, um, but that's kind of the one thing I'm looking for when I go to a haunted house is I want to be immer immersed into this situation. I want to feel like I'm part of this real situation. And Scare House does it extremely well. Um, from w the moment you walk in, um, you walk into like this like living room and bedroom and kind of this house, um, haunted house type thing, you instantly forget that you are in a mall. You are in this world that they have, they have, put, them, they have put you into um, because it's incredibly well themed um and I, one thing i can say with scare house is that they are big on the jump scare 
and they will get you multiple times. Um, it's not something where someone's one and done with you. If they can get you multiple times, they will, and they are very good at it. So when going into the situation where, you know, I had my friend Matt, um, who had never been to the scare house before, he wasn't able to go last year and we had not gone previously. Um, you know, when we went through the house portion, I was like, okay, well, they give you a flashlight element, and the flashlight element sets off certain things in the house. So when you flash it on a certain certain um, element, it will move, or it will, you know, jump, or it will all types of different things that you can do with it. You know, I, <laughs> I usually put my friend Matt in front. He is a grown man. He is in his 30s, and especially with this video, uh, he was freaking out in the scare house. We, w we went through the first section. Like I said, the light was pretty low. Um, my flashlight wasn't the the best flashlight that, that was in the group. Um, after you go through the house portion, I did the smart thing, which is let my friend Matt go in the front. And what a wise decision that was. Um, the second section of the scare house is um, various degrees of trying to confuse the hell out of you. And I mean that in the best way possible. There are mirror mazes. There are sections where you're walking through sheets. There are sections where you're walking through a maze portion. There are sections where, and, and the idea is that the scare actors are placed there to get as many scares as possible. And they do so tremendously. Um, the, uh, the mirror maze section is where there's a clown. And he is set up specifically in the in such a way that got my last year and, and now Matt was in front. He got it this year, but I got it last year when I was in front. Is that there's like mirror, 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 and then this dude comes out, um, and it's different each time. It feels like it's different each time. I didn't necessarily know where he was coming from, um, but he will pop out and get right in your face. I mean, he will get as close, like, what? and if you're looking, uh, by the way, it's so much better if you're looking in another direction because you'll see something move kind of out of the darkness and you'll turn to look at it and he'll be right here. And man, that'll get you. It is a machine gun of scares and they emptied the clip. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like Matt came out of the, of the scare house like he needed, like he was punch drunk. Like he needed some, he was so over the top scared in there that it was a delight. Um, I love seeing my friend Matt get scared. I think it's the funniest thing. Um, he would never volunteer to be the front. I have to put him in the front, not just for my entertainment, but for your entertainment. <laughs> As someone who's watching it, this is like, how much can a human get scared in a certain house? Matt's here to fill that bill. Um, so yeah, he was, they, it was a, like I said, relentless pursuit on him because he is the best person that you want in a haunted house. People that get scared the easiest, the people that get scared the best, the people that react emotionally to being in a haunted house are the most fun people, not just to go in a haunted house with, but it's the most fun when you're in a group with them because the scare actors will specifically they'll notice right away. They've been doing this all season. You know what I mean? They have seen hundreds if not thousands of people depending on the haunt and they know whether they can get you and they know the people that they can get again and again and again and again and if you have one of those people in your group man oh man what a what a blast but if you're there for the thrill of the show for the thrill of the haunt if you're there just to get scared the scare house will bring that for you because um, they are, like I said, relentless um, and they will go through to make sure they're level best to disorient, to confuse, to scare you in multiple directions, to scare you in unexpected places. That is what they're going for. It is their bread and butter. They have been doing this for a long time. So 
Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I love the scare house. Scott and the team, um, have been so gracious and nice to me every time I come up there. Um, really, you know, like I said, I, it's really such a fun experience going to the scare house. Um, like I said, I, I, I have not seen my friend Matt more emotionally affected afterwards where he needed like a breather than I did when he was at the scare house. So what a ringing endorsement there. I mean, you can't ask for much more than that, I guess. Yeah, when you're talking scares per capita, I mean, it's hard to compete with the scare house. We thought they did an awesome job this year. Well, that'll do it for the scare house, Pittsburgh Mills Mall, Toronto, PA. Oh man, uh, you know, <laughs> what a treat. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, my friend Matt couldn't come along last time, and I, if you watch my videos, I put Matt into the front, and I do that because Matt can be jumpy at times, and young Matthew was in rare form this evening. Um, he might have been traumatized. I, he might need to make a, an appointment, uh, as far as with a therapist to, to work out his feelings in this regard. Um, but yeah, it was a, uh, it was an awesome night going through the scare house, not just because they got me pretty good a couple times uh, when I was leading the group in the main section, but then I had Matt take over in his usual spot up front, and man, oh man, did they get him left and right relentlessly. Relentlessly. Um, so that was fun and a blast to kind of walk through because he went through some things this evening. So... <laughs> Uh, but what can I say? The Scare House, uh, man, they're, they're really good at what they do. Um, it is a relentless assault. Um, so, yeah, it was uh, it was a fun night out at the Scare House. Um, but, yeah, that'll wrap it up for the Scare House, Pittsburgh Mills Mall, Turenum, PA. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, a Tom was your t-shirt, you can do so at Spreadshirt, as well as links to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, Clubhouse, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collector Association. Links are in the description below. But when it comes to the scare house for the 2022 season, I can say my name is Tom and I was here. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Bye everyone.